Hi, I'm Jill with the West Regional Library and I am back again with another knitting video. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, making your face mask a little more comfortable. I picked up some face masks um, and these are very lightweight which are good for summer um, but these ear straps are on the uncomfortable side and I looked at getting some of those uh, silicone bumpers because the little ear protectors, these are fairly small masks, they're a little too small, a little too tight to put that um, strap in the back. So um, I looked at the little silicone ear bumpers and it got me thinking, I'm thinking, you know, I can probably knit something like that. So after a little bit of trial and error, I came up with putting an I-cord around the strap, um, which made this a much more comfortable mask. Now to do this, what you're going to need is you're going to need some uh, DPNs, which are double pointed needles. These are four millimeter needles that I used. Uh, you can theoretically do this with uh, single pointed needles, but to do that you actually have to transfer all the stitches from one needle to the other between every round, which is way more trouble than I want to put up with. Um, so if you can get some DPNs, definitely use DPNs for this. You're also going to need, of course, some yarn. I've used worsted and uh, double knit for this. Both of them worked. Um, you know, use whatever yarn uh, you have that you'd like to use. Just make sure it's something soft because, you know, if it's at all scratchy, it's going to entirely defeat the purpose because it's going to sit right on the back of your ears. And also make sure it's something washable because, you know, it's not going to come off your mask. The only way to take it off your mask is to cut it off. So uh, you're going to have to... Um, keep it on the mask when you wash your mask. Um, and also make sure you have a small enough ball to fit through this ear hole. Um, I did do this mask with this yarn, but it was kind of a tight squeeze. Um, this, this yarn that I'm going to do, I mean the mask I'm going to do now, I'm going to use this yarn and this little ball is going to be a lot easier to work with. And uh, you also, at the end of your project, you are going to need um, a uh, tapestry needle to tuck in your ends. And that should be it for supplies. Um, and this is, like I said, it's a fairly simple project. And if you already know how to do an I-cord, um, you know, you have already know how to do this. All you have to do is place your yarn correctly. So uh, let's get started knitting. The first thing you're going to do is cast on um, some stitches. Now, I did five. If you're using a smaller yarn or you've got a bigger mask or a smaller strap or whatever, um, you may want to do more or less uh, stitches. Just, you know, get, make your best guesstimate. Now that I've got my stitches cast on, I will slide them down to the other end of the needle to start the I-cord. Then you place these stitches in front of the mask strap and you put your yarn through the ear hole behind the mask strap so that when you take your working yarn and start knitting your first row, uh, it's going to come across the back of the strap. You knit that first row. Now you just slide the stitches down to the end of the needle again, put the yarn back through the strap, and knit your second row and so on. Just keep doing that until you have a long enough piece to cover the ear strap. I'm going to do, I think, 14 rows. Um, that's kind of what I worked out is works best for this particular mask model. As you're doing this, make sure you count how many rows you do so that you can do the same number on one side as the other so that your mask comes out even. If you see this laddering in the back, don't worry about that. Um, it, with an I-cord, it will usually work its way out. Just you know, give your stitches a tug every once in a while, and it will come together as you uh, knit the I-cord. And after I finish as many rows as I want, I'll just cast off.
tuck in the ends. Then I'll tuck in the ends with this tapestry needle. And now I just need to do the other side and I'll have a much more comfortable mask than I started out with. Okay, so now I've finished both sides of the mask and it's pretty much ready to wear. Um, you can slide these back and forth some to get them adjusted just right for your ears. So now it's time to try this on. Okay, and that does feel much better with these nice soft bumpers behind my ears instead of raw fabric. So there you have it, a nice little bumpers for your mask. If you've got a mask that's uncomfortable for you, I hope you try this out. Um, it may help you out some. And if you have any tips or tricks for making your masks more wearable, please leave me a comment down below. Um, I think we'll be wearing these for a while yet to come. And um, if you have any other comments or suggestions for knitting videos, let me know that too. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.